Light and Progress, Honor and Respects. This is your host, Sancista Brujo Luis. I know that I have not done a video in over three weeks. I've been getting a lot of emails and messages. Everyone wondering if I'm okay, if I'm fine. I am well. Uh, and here I am. It's been three weeks. I'm sorry about that, but here I finally am. So since the last video that I did around three weeks ago, I did a video on Florida water hand sanitizer. If you have not checked that, I'll leave the link down below. A lot of people have been asking me, uh, where do I keep it? I like my uh, hand sanitizer uh, to be cool. So I keep it in the refrigerator. You can keep it out, but uh, I use it, you know, whenever I just, of course, washing your hand is always the best, but I, you know, use it when I'm not close to a water, okay, or, or sink with soap, uh, when I go out, uh, this is just a cologne, okay, but when I go out, I keep it in uh, little bottles, or you can, um, in a sandwich bag, okay, you could add napkins, and you don't want to drench them too much, but you want them to be enough moist so that you can keep them in sandwich bags, uh, so if you're out and you're not close to a sink, soap, whatever it may be. It's simple, you take a, a little napkin and you clean your hands off, okay? But always use gloves. Make sure you use gloves and those masks. We are in some crazy times. So I just wanted to state that out, that yeah, I like to keep it in the, in the refrigerator. You don't have to. There's been times that I didn't, but I like it cool, so that's what I do. Uh, but since I've gotten uh, messages about do I keep it in the refrigerator or not, that's up to you, okay? I keep it in the refrigerator. So I just wanted to state, uh, yeah, I have not been in YouTube for over three weeks and a lot of people, thank you everyone for checking up on me. Uh, I've been going through a transition in my life uh, and I needed that time to spend alone and to clear the cobwebs in my in my head and like I said, you know, uh, but everything is good, everything is well. Yeah, there are still changes in my life that I'm getting used to, uh, but I want everyone to know that I am fine and I am well. And yes, we have not recorded in the Boricua Brujos podcast in a while. Again, I have been tired or not just tired, but focusing on Luis. I need to focus on Luis and, and get back to where I need to be a, emotionally, physically and spiritually before I can uh, put out a video uh, on YouTube. So anyways, I'm rambling too much and I'm sorry about that. Uh, the video today is on spiritual colognes and how you can use them as hand sanitizers. On San Sister Blue Luis today. So if you have been a follower of my channel, you know that I praise Agua Florida. Florida water is a spiritual cologne that we use in Puerto Rican Espiritismo, in Cuban Santeria, in a lot of uh, Afro-Caribbean traditions. This is the spiritual cologne per excellence, okay? And what's interesting about Florida water is that you can also use it as a hand sanitizer. I did a video, uh, three weeks ago, making it with aloe and Florida water. But in all actuality, you know, you can just open up a, let me see if I have one open, okay? Cause this one's sealed, all right? But you can find one that's already open, okay? And you can use it right there as a hand sanitizer. I think Florida water is 75% alcohol, all right? So I like to cleanse with it, you know, clean my hands. It's got a nice, clean, citrusy scent, all right? Um, but when I use Florida water or anything with a lot of alcohol, you gotta understand that it's not very good on the skin, so you want to moisturize your skin. Now, I'm not telling you that 
washing your hands is not important washing your hands is very important but if you cannot wash your hands then carry some florida water okay these cost like four dollars uh and a lot of people are saying well is this the only one you can use no you can use any eau de cologne any eau de cologne that you can find whether it's colonia natural uh whether it is florida florida water because it's four dollars is very cheap some eau de colognes can be very expensive okay so since this is very affordable you can use this you can use uh, i think you can use nanuco which is a spanish eau de cologne a colonia natural don't quote me on that because i don't know how much alcohol there is in that I know that Agua Florida, Florida water, I think it's 73 or 75% alcohol, and that's what you want, okay? Another Eau de Cologne that I use in my spiritual practices is 4711 or 4711. This is a sealed box, all right? This is one of my favorite, my father's favorite, actually. Let me see if this one doesn't glare, all right? This is the big bottle okay and it comes in a box like that and this is uh the bottle you've seen me do videos on 4711 or 4711 this is an eau de cologne that's been around 4711 has been around since 1799 it is not the oldest eau de cologne a lot of people think it's the oldest eau de cologne the oldest eau de cologne is one done by giovanni farina maria farina i don't remember the name i'll put the name up right here that one is a little too expensive uh this big bottle for 32 ounces i think i paid like like a dollar an ounce i paid like 32 maybe 36 dollars and again for an eight ounce florida water it's four dollars uh they're pretty much similar they're both citrus and scent and this is one of my favorite summer colognes one of my favorite to refresh to cleanse and to purify now if you look at the box in itself the box comes in uh various languages um so if you look at the box all right uh if you turn it over you're gonna see that uh it says 47 it's in spanish i think that is portuguese then you turn on over the box it is uh maybe german or dutch uh then we have english italian and french the english version says 4711 original eau de cologne more than just a fragrance this unique composition of 4711 original eau de cologne has a positive effect on body, mind, and soul, and has been appreciated across the globe since 1792. To experience the superior quality for yourself, splash 47 original Eau de Cologne generously onto the hands, rub together, breathe in, breathe out, and relax. And then it has the ingredients, and it says 86% volume. So I like to use any Eau de Cologne as a hand sanitizer or to cleanse or to purify. But you gotta understand that some Eau de Colognes are very expensive. This is actually very affordable. So you, of course, when you buy it, you wanna make sure that it comes in that box that I showed you and that there is a seal. Okay, you can see the seal, this is brand new. And then you wanna open it. This is uh, the little cover comes on it. All right, so you just wanna open it and you use it pretty much like Florida water, okay? I don't wanna drop it. I like to smell it. Oh, it smells so good. And cleanse and purify with it. It's one of my favorite Eau de Colognes. I use this a lot in the summer, uh, as not just only as a hand sanitizer, but believe it or not, as a bug repellent. <laughs> this 4711 or 4711 and Florida water, you can use it as a bug repellent. Uh, bugs seem to not like it. Okay. Um, also, like I, what we're talking about as a hand sanitizer. But again, believe it or not, you just put it on your hands, rub it, uh, smell it, and cleanse and purify. And that's how I use 4711, and not just 4711. Uh, 
Florida water. Sometimes you will see that I have a fuente. A fuente is a goblet of water. Uh, and when I cleanse and purify, I tap it into the water to remove any negative vibrations. You can use, a, like I said earlier, you can use napkins or towelettes. Drench a little bit of the 4711 into them. Keep it in a sandwich bag. Uh, if you go out, you know, places that you can't uh, wash, this is a different uh, Eau de Cologne, but you can find little bottles uh, and just carry it in a bag, add a little bit of the 4711 or Florida water into a little bottle, something that's convenient that you can carry maybe in a handbag or a mail bag or something. And whenever you want to, in the summer, you just want to refresh and purify, all right? So I'm going to keep this video short. Uh, I'm just keeping it pretty short. Oh, and I want to give out uh, two shout outs. So That's before well. I go, I want to give out two shout outs. Okay. Uh, Tata Lumbanda, he has a YouTube channel, Spiritual Doctor Afi. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, last week, we did a two part Instagram live. Uh, Sally, those Instagram, I hope everyone caught it. Uh, they were an hour long each. And so I'm, I know that I'm going to be doing another Instagram with him, hopefully within a month's time. So go check out his YouTube channel, okay? Uh, Spiritual Dr. Afi, Tata Lumbanda, great gentleman. I have a lot of respect for him. And also, I'm going to be doing future collaborations in the future with the God Owl, eh, Muertero. Chris, he is a Mexican brujo and he does, he's got a channel here on YouTube, it's just starting out, go give him some love. Uh, he talks about La Santísima Muerte, which is a very different tradition than what I follow, but he also does card readings, go check him out, go subscribe, he's brand new. So I'm just giving him some shout out as well. And going back to spiritual Dr. Afi, a Follow him and go follow him on, some, on Instagram because I will be there again doing a, maybe another interview or talk within the future. So go check those two channels and I will be back. I will be back shortly. I will be, be back consistently. I'm just in a transition of change in my life and but everything is well, everything is good, and I pray, I pray that everyone is doing well and that you guys are all taken care of. And please go get your uh, 4711 or your Florida water. Uh, have them for the summer. These are good as not just only spiritual cleansing agents, okay? Uh, they can help you against the virus, okay? use them as a hand sanitizer. Uh, they can repel mosquitoes and all that. Nobody wants to get bitten. We don't know what they might transit. Uh, and they will keep you refreshed, smelling great in the summer. These fragrances, some people don't like them, but these fragrances are on the body. They're not offensive, all right? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna keep this short. I'm getting off. Uh, off the channel, but I will be back shortly. All right, please give me some more time uh, And hopefully I think we'll be doing a Boricua Brujo po podcast again. We're gonna be coming back and I feel like I'm rambling. I don't mean to ramble. So I'm out Lo quiero mucho. Ciao everybody. Please take care and I'm praying for everyone's safety and everyone's health and well-being This is Sancista Brujo Luis Please take care, much love and much luck. Mucho amor de parte de, de, de mí. All right, take care. Ciao until the next video.